Jody, ends in our first defeat of the year after an undefeated start against league leaders Dorkin. Was it simply a case of being beaten by the better team today? No, I don't think so. But obviously, they were the better team. But I don't think you can just brush it under the carpet like that. Um, we knew coming into the game, they recently beat Haverton and Waterlooville 8-0. They beat Ebbsfleet, who I felt were the best team I'd seen in the league. They beat them 5-1. So we knew coming into the game, and obviously we've watched lots of footage, and we've got our scouting report from the game, and uh, you know we, we, we prepared the best we can. We knew it was going to be a tough game, but you know we played Maidstone twice when they were top of the league. We played Ebbsfleet when they were top of the league. We played Dartford when they were top of the league. So it's not okay to say you're playing against top of the league, just roll over and lose. And um, the disappointing thing today was our, our baseline. Our baseline is, is organisation, hard work, getting tight to people, making it hard for the opposition. That's our absolute base and, and minimum expectations. And then as we've grown in confidence, we've got better in possession, we've created more. But today we didn't get tight to people. We didn't outwork people. We couldn't win a first ball. Like, so when our goalkeeper's kicking it, we just got completely dominated. Um, I even felt as though when we did, we actually did well to force them to go as direct as they did because they're a team that wants to play out from the back and our front three, it worked to a degree, not result wise, but in terms of affecting how they played. Um, but then we weren't winning first balls and I completely expected us, especially with Pryor missing for them, who's their normal target man. If we could force them to go long, I fully expected our centre-backs to deal with that and then our midfielders to pick up the second balls. It just didn't unfold like that. Um, it was too easy for them to pick up the first ball, win the second ball, recycle it out wide, 2v1s out wide, um, and just simply too many crosses came into our box. And uh, we, we've, we've been a very good team at defending crosses for the last six, seven, eight weeks. Um, we've been unbeaten for a long time uh, and, and that hasn't all been a walk in the park we've had to defend. And then I look at today and I just thought it didn't look like a team that liked defending, it didn't look like a team that that, that, that could defend. Um, so yeah, you know, it's back to the drawing board, we've got to look at it closely, we've all got to look in the mirror, staff, players, everyone, um, think how we could have prepared better, how we could have reacted better to the early setback of the goal and then the early setback in the second half to the early goal. Um, and we have to ensure that we learn from it and, and we don't allow things like that to happen again. But, you know, I reiterate, Dorking are a very good team and you, you see what they've done to better teams than us in this league. Um, and I'm sure they'll do it to other teams as well. But we knew, we knew what was coming. We had a plan of how we wanted to play against it. And unfortunately, as a few people have said to me this afternoon since the final whistle, doesn't matter what your plan is, if, if you're not going to match the other team's energy and desire, um, we lost out on too many first and second balls and it was just too easy for them to get the ball wide and, and get crosses into the box. So of course I'm disappointed, um, but at the same time I'm, I'm aware of the progress we've made in the last two or three months and I'm aware that we can't let this result uh, have a knock-on effect. We need to make sure Tuesday night in the Cup, we're right back on it. Up next, we return back to the Essex Senior Cup against Hashtag United. Would that be a good chance to regroup and hopefully come up with a win? Um, I mean, we want to win every game. So, it's, regardless of the opposition, we want to win every game. This game's, this, this performance today has made it even more important that we get a really positive performance. We've got to see a positive reaction from everybody. Um, I don't want to see any of this carrying over into Tuesday. I certainly don't want to see any level of complacency. I, I don't think I would see that. I don't think we're a club in a position to be complacent. Um, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, but it's the quarter-final of a, of a cup competition that we'd like to go as far as we possibly can in. So, yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday was an important game, but it becomes an even more important game for obvious reasons. Um, individuals have got to show me how much today mattered and, and how quickly they can pick themselves up and react.